guys welcome back to my channel my name is Anjali Galitza and if you don't know now you know you are tuned into the back to basics and not so basic step-by-step -step makeup tutorial where I take all the best tips and tricks from all of the trends going on right now and apply it to one face if you're coming over here from the lash and mascara portion thank you so much for continuing to watch this series if you haven't if you're just here to check out how to do contour and concealer thank you so much for tuning in make sure you like comment and subscribe and once you're done watching this video feel free to watch the other ones back to see how we got to this portion thus far now in this section as I mentioned we are doing concealer and contour this is my favorite part about makeup the reason why is because this is really when you're able to sculpt your face as i said i really like a feminine look however i do like to keep the features that i have so this is going to be friendly for all face shapes all sizes whatever you like however the portion of this is to lift okay no matter what that is beautiful whoever you are we want to lift it allows for a more youthful look so in order to do this we will actually be using two concealers one is to help if you have any dark circles and the other is to brighten and the brightening section is what will highlight into that lift now i'm going to be using two new concealers that i just purchased as i stated before this is going to be an affordable makeup up series so that way you have access to this depending on your budget because it's better to use quality products that you can save on instead of having to splurge and figure out if it works for you now i'm so excited about this concealer this is the elf hydrating camo concealer everyone's been raving about this they say it's the dupe to shape tape now i have tried shape tape before and i have loved shape tape immensely and I want to see if this is all the way. So first is to combat dark circles. I do not have dark circles. However, I do have very um, pigmented veins, especially when I have not drank enough water. But if you do have dark circles, this is what you'll do. First, you want to take a concealer that is closest to your skin tone as possible. This is in Deep Caramel. For me, um, I am a tanned girl, as you can see. Oh my god, it even has a doe foot like the shape tape okay yeah i'm really excited the reason why you want to use a shape that's closer to you is because we will be highlighting the areas that will lift this is just to cover dark circles and you want it to be as close to your foundation as possible you don't need much you'll just take the applicator dip it in whatever is left which is a lot i don't need that much i'm just going to scrape off on the edge now wherever your dark circles are most pigmented as you can see mine have shown through because i kept wiping my eyes in the last video as you can see but long story short you want to take your concealer and you want to dot it i'm gonna actually do it to help with puffy eyes as well so with the puff where the puffy part stands wow i have so much mascara and glue but this will cover it up okay so we're going to take two dots right there the reason why i'm doing this is because like i said in the very first video of this series i like receiving the compliment that wow you look pretty not wow your makeup looks so nice both are great compliments however the purpose of me wearing makeup is so that i look pretty i don't want you to say oh wow you have so much makeup on girl that looks good but uh it's your makeup that's making you look good oh wow it's even the texture is really nice so with the dark circles and puffy eyes you want to place it right where your line of the puffy eye blends with the puff of your puffy eye we have puffy eyes you know what i'm talking about so we are going to blend it a little bit so that way we can let it set in that area as you can see I'm just blending it there and you only want to focus this on the center as it dries we will blend it all over but we're not going to put too much we just want this color payoff to be here so I'm just going to let that set 
So what you want to talk about while this is setting? How are you guys liking this series so far? Let me know. Like, I really came up with this idea because I love watching makeup tutorials. And I feel like sometimes makeup tutorials are so lengthy at this point where I love still watching it. However, I don't know why they chose that method or technique and sometimes it just doesn't look right for me so i'm hoping that you guys are actually finding this helpful have you tried anything thus far what is your favorite gem from what's going on let me know i do you can also like comment and subscribe and share this with your girl your girlfriends i know we all have that one friend that doesn't want to wear makeup and that's says out of tennis because she doesn't need it i mean nobody ever really does however it enhances and it makes you feel beautiful so maybe something a little more natural will help your friend out if she needs the help because there's those people too okay let me not say that i got the dewy setting spray because i like a dewy finish obviously this is from black radiance it's my first time trying it and their applicator just seemed so not applicated, but the spray spritz bottle just seemed so appetizing. So let's see how this works, shall we? What we're gonna do to make sure we blend this out nicely is spray our, okay, okay, okay. Spray our beauty blender, just the tip. I already used it's our, it was already damp. Let me clarify that. So it's already damp, and then I sprayed it with the setting spray and then we're just gonna blend the rest of this out into our entire eye hmm okay it feels nice it has a scent I don't know if it's my beauty blender or if it's the spray I think it's my beauty blender perfect I really do like this color on me too so I'm just blending this throughout the rest of my eye now I have to fix my liner. Now we're gonna move quickly because we wanna be able to set this with some powders. But first, it's time to lift. <laughs> I'm funny, sorry. Hi guys, this is also good for dark circles. This is the Maybelline Eraser Instant Age Rewind. You guys remember this. If you don't remember this, then where were you in 2016? This stuff right here is perfect. And as you can see, it is very bright in comparison to this one. So you want to create that lifting effect. If I can get you open, baby girl, baby, baby girl, open up. It's me, Angelique. Cool. So we're gonna use the Instant Age Rewind, but this little thingy is not gonna be conducive to what we have to do. So we're gonna take some concealer brushes. I got these from Eco Tools. They're also pretty affordable. Um, I thought it was good for the set. It comes with a concealer, it says Trio. But I only see two, oh, two brushes, two utensils, three brushes. Let me show you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Just had to be a little rough airbrush brush you have your detail brush which is exactly what we need and then you have your what did you guys name this you don't you, you didn't put a name for anything else concealer this is what we're going to use to conceal the fuck you not name you name everything but not that one anyways so we're going to take the age rewind sorry let me step back this is the only part that I hate it because you never know how much is really coming out. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. I see. There you are. Okay. Yes. Nice and bright. Actually, I think I'm going to stick with that. It still has a yellow undertone and I'm sorry for anyone wondering. This is sand. So we're going to take this and you want to take your detail brush. I don't like how that just foamed. There we go. And instead of making the typical V shape, 
because think about it the v-shape just highlights all of this now it is nice but if your whole goal is to lift then it's not serving its purpose instead you want to take it and you want to place it here in a small v like so and to complement that fox eye you want to place it here in a small v just like that so let me show you again now what this does is it contours your nose as well and lifts where you want it to lift now we gotta wait for that to set so which i want to talk about now <laughs> <laughs> You're going to take your stippling brush and you're still going to focus it in those areas but you're going to make sure you blend out the edges first as you can see i am flicking it actually let me stipple first i'm gonna stipple the areas where it doesn't need remember how i said in the first video you don't you you don't really want to rub too much especially under your eyes because that will move your skin and stretch your skin so you see how i am taking this i'm stippling it and as i'm stippling it i'm blending out the hard edges i'm bringing it into the other area so that way it blends in nicely with the other concealer we added and then i'm making sure i'm still pulling my face back cool now you see that already okay for this area I am going to do the same motion, stipple it, but for my nose, I'm going to drag it here. And then I'm going to stipple these edges, but only keep it in this area. Wow. So that's what we have so far. Perfect. So let's do this here. Our goal is to not disturb the product too much. We're just allowing it to set where we want it to set. Now, one thing I'm actually excited about, and I think instead of using the corrector brush first, I actually picked up the Camo Concealer Beauty Blender. So let's test this out. It's really soft in comparison to this one. And let me show you the size and shape difference. So this is the traditional Beauty Blender. I've had this for a very long time. It's probably to the point where smells good i mean it's fine i wash it but it's probably to the point where i should get a new one and this is the camo concealer corrector beauty blender let me make sure is that the right name i got the box right here camo concealer sponge best with our camo concealers so since they say that i might as well put it to the test and i'm actually going to use this to bring it as close as i can to that shadow without so that way it doesn't have that harsh line. Now do you see how that lift in my whole eye instead of highlighting the entire thing? Ugh, it just makes sense to me. It just makes sense. I actually do like this sponge. It's perfect because it's small, gets in there. Get it in, get it in. Very nice, very nice. Now, I know a lot of people are going to ask, how do you stop creasing? As you can see in my under eyes, I do have some 
clearly focus on me. I do have some creasing and that is because my eyes naturally crease there. How do you stop creasing? You cannot. Unless you have a very, 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 very good thick primer. Um, eventually you're going to crease because your eyes have natural folds and pockets and it happens. Just embrace it. That allow, oh my God, y'all see this. I'm sorry, I just caught my viewfinder. Hello there. Okay, I'm actually gonna add just a little bit more of this because I can still see, I just, I don't want it to be too much whiteness right there. And let's put this to the test. Let's see how it works with this one. I'm going to use the cleaner side. Wow, this, this blender is actually nice. It blends it better than my beauty blender did. Oh, wow. This is meant for this concealer. Cool. Okay, you see the difference? How this allowed it to be a little more lifted here and here. Damn. Now, the trick also is because I didn't put a lot of foundation under my eyes, I can add two layers of concealer. But typically, you don't want to. Um, I have puffy eyes, so I'm gonna do what I want, but you do, you really don't want to add too much weight to your eyelids. Dang, this looks so pretty. I actually like this little highlight. I think I'm going to keep it. I was going to, actually, I'm going to blend it. Let me not be that girl. So I'm going to take <laughs> the corrector brush and just blend a little bit. See? It didn't do too much, but it looks a little more intentional rather than I left my concealer line just sitting there. Now let's contour. <laughs> okay, so the trick with contouring, just like the highlighting, we're going to use two different shades. This is, I want to say, Black Opal, a foundation stick. I actually use this as my contour shade especially when i am doing a beat snatch going to the club face and then this i normally use when i do an everyday a no makeup makeup look so the trick to contouring now a lot of people believe in drawing the three which is true a lot of people also draw the line straight on now i don't believe in doing that because then it creates such a harsh line and it's such a pain to blend so instead what we're going to do is take our contour stick take a angle brush i'm going to take it on my hand as you can see my hand is very very clean darling <laughs> you're going to take it put enough on there for the brush to blend up and instead you want to start at your cheek and build that color on see how that allows you to have a lot more control it automatically applies diffuse and you're going to place it right where your cheekbone is because i have higher cheekbones i just place it in my hollows but if you have a rounder face and you want more of a higher cheekbone look place it a little above your hollow but all i say is use this to add dimension i don't think you have to have high cheekbones okay like be you don't try to be something you're not because that is called a catfish darling we're going to blend it out even more but let me do the other side so rub two strips of this i love this because it's cream now i typically use a cream contour first before adding a bronzer because it allows it to have a base to stick to Now, if you see you put a lot on, which I did, take the clean side of the angle brush, which is why I like the angle brush. See how simple that is? I'm going to take the rest of this and brush into my hairline and my forehead. Now, I got a big forehead. If you have a forehead like mine, where it's kind of flat, let's put it right there. But this um, method allows you to build it a lot more. Now I take this portion and I kind of cup my cheek. See? This allows it to lift and still define. We have two contour 
in three. So one, two, three, or just make it three. <laughs> I just gotta be complicated. With me, I have more of a narrow face, so I'm actually not gonna do too much of a blown out look right here. Instead, I'm gonna take this portion, I'm gonna take it behind my jawline, underneath my jawline, and flick. See that? So I like this angle brush. Take it behind my jawline, underneath my jawline, and flick. But from the front, it gives more of a look. Now imagine if I would have put this on here, it would have made my face look really, really skinny and small, which is what I don't want. Now it's time to blend. You can either use a beauty blender or a flat top uh, blender, which is what I like to use. So I'm gonna do that. This we'll use later to diffuse everything. But you're probably like, wait, what happened to the other color? This color is gonna give us that extra dimension. Um, it has more of a gray undertone, so it allows you to have shadows. I actually learned this from another YouTube video when they were talking about, uh, I think it was Charlotte Tilbury, or someone was talking about how they always use a gray, or maybe it was Beyonce's makeup artist. I don't know, someone was doing it. If you know, comment down below, I would appreciate it. I'll try to find the video and link it, but they use a gray toned contour because it allows for it to look like it's a shadow. So think about it. if you really have a hollow here, you'll have, it'll be darker, but then we have a shadow. It has kind of like a gray to it. So this is so close to my skin color, but it does give the contour its own dimension to the point where it doesn't look like it's just something dark right here. Now, don't be alarmed. I know I'm adding more color, but this is where you blend. So I like to use the flat top because it picks up more product and disperses it. See? Sorry if you feel like I'm looking through you. The mirror is right behind you. I do think you're important. So, before I go to this, because I'm going to let that shadow sit, let me show you how you will contour the rest of your jawline. Let me take my earring off. Okay. You want to blend this back, up and back, up and back. Don't pull your neck because you're lifting it. Remember, the brush strokes you are making are also going to be in line with the shape you want to create. And then with here, this is all about sharpening. Cool. I ain't done yet. Don't worry. It's not going to be that sharp. Now, I'm making sure I'm still staying to the bottom of my jaw. If I bring that color up, it's going to create more of a rounded look. But I want to keep my jawline snatch. <laughs> cool. So now you're probably wondering this. We are just going to stipple because we're blending those colors together. Do, 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 do. No, no, no. We're just blending those two colors. What I'm doing is stippling right in between them. Lastly, the Beauty Blender. This allows everything to look blended. I'm going to spray this with some setting spray. Ooh, fancy. And I am going to go over all of this. Now, when it comes down to the cheek to diffuse that color, just pat it. See, not as sharp. One, two. Do, 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 do. Wanna, wanna. And I'm going over every line where there's a different color. So you can see how my concealer went into my bronzer. What I'm doing is allowing it to look a little more diffused. And then the same with my forehead, except I'm gonna use the butt of the Beauty Blender. 
This is also allowing it to set, but it's creating more of a gradient effect, which is what you wanna go for. And last but not least, do the same thing with your concealer. I didn't wanna mix the dark colors with my concealer area, so I'm gonna take it and place it here. That's very nice. Now to finish the highlight process, I am going to go hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm going to go into my pro concealer and use it in warm honey. This is going to highlight my face. It is very close to my foundation color. However, it's still good. What is that? Okay. Some dimension now because my chin sticks out, I still want to keep my strong chin. This is all about keeping who you are. Okay, I already have like a little button nose, so I'm going to place it there and here. Exclamation point always helps if you do want to slim your nose. Don't bring the highlight all the way down because it will bring attention here. You want attention on what is the high point. This is a high point. This is a high point. And then I rarely put it on my forehead because my forehead's so big, but when I do, I create a little seagull and I actually don't allow this to set too much I want to actually try this sponge so let's go for it now first I pat it just keep it in a spot that it needs to stay in that's the thing don't move your product too much so and then I'll go back over that just allowing it to set and then we'll do my forehead next back over here <laughs> that looks so stupid <laughs> but it works and then pat here because we need to hurry up and move on to powder um i am going to conceal con contour my nose i actually want to try this brush which was the airbrush no where's the corrector God damn it, you guys. What's wrong? I can't find my brush. I can't find my brush. It's my brush. The sad part is, it's not even messy right here. You might think it is, but it's not. Tell me why I just lost my mother brush. Oh, it's on the floor. Found it. <laughs> We're going to take that shadow e contour one because this is way too dark and it's way too warm when you do your nose contour you definitely uh, want it to be more of ash if you want your nose to appear smaller you know like I say embrace you but if you want your nose to appear smaller you're going to place two lines closer in if you want your nose to appear wider you want to place one a little further out now my nose is naturally small I'm going to follow the natural contours of my nose because I'm just trying to add dimension back to my face and we're going to place it here and drag it down this just adds a little little bit See how they curse the shadow? Place it here. Now, if you watch the eyeshadow portion, you remember that I did say we did not put color on this part of our lid because that was going to be reserved for our contour. Make subtle changes if you want to change. If not, you want to emphasize. So I am emphasizing the button of my nose. If you want it to appear more lifted, which my nose is i hate that because you can see when i have boogers all the time Points. so say if you do want to um contour your natural shape what you would do is look for the high and low points so this is a high point right here so that's what i highlighted this is this comes right after that high point so you want to place your shadow right after the high point imagine if the sun was shining right here you have a shadow here as you can see this portion we're going to take your stick same thing and create another shadow that shadow is going to be underneath your lip this is going to help when we add our liners and all of that but for now it's adding that dimension back to my face as you can see i have a highlight here but then it just looks weird because there's nothing to complement it 
<laughs> just put it there. That's so funny. So see how, you see the shadow, right? Yeah, you see the shadow. No, not too much because you don't want to look like how you did in fourth grade when you suck your bottom lip and your mama told you to stop, but you got crushes and then you got teased. Do that shit no more. <laughs> so we're going to take our beauty blender, still damp from that setting spray, and we're going to diffuse these colors. The whole thing is you want to look blended. Wow. That looks amazing. What do you think? Thumbs up? If so, then actually thumbs up. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for watching this Back to Basics, not so basic step-by-step -step makeup tutorial. I probably changed that like 14 times since I started this. But that being said, I appreciate it. Next, you want to stay tuned. Next, you can't just leave your face like this. You have to set it with powders. Otherwise, it'll run. I don't care where you're going. You want to set because that'll actually lock in everything that you did. And I have a few tips and tricks on how to make sure you keep that highlight that you did and bronze the face without making yourself look a muddy mess. So, if you want to watch that, make sure you go over to the next video and make sure if you stay till the end, put a nose emoji for the fact that I can smell people. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, just click the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. You are too kind. How do you put up with me? I don't know. I don't know.